Greetings guys, girls, non-binary pals and welcome back to another video. I hope you are well and I hope you are fighting because there is a lot to be fighting for. It is the middle of the night. I am five coffees deep today, continuously fueling my unhealthy caffeine addiction. Haven't slept for days. Everything is great. And to add fuel to that fire and use this fake energy that I have, we're gonna watch a video. I'm gonna talk about it. This video is by a channel called Natural Lifestyles, which is a few men, uh, and I think one woman, although I've never actually seen her on the channel before, teaching the art of seduction to men, how to pick up women. And that's so problematic and so weird. I hate pickup artists. I, well, artists, they call it an art. It, I, ridiculous, I hate it. Um, and they run courses about how to manipulate women to sleep with them, basically, is what this is. And they uploaded a video yesterday called Why You Should Sleep With Girls Fast, Especially The Ones You Want To Marry. And that is a title. So we're gonna watch it. But first I'm gonna take my glasses off because they're reflecting really bad. Why do women decide to have sex with men? Because it feels right. Off to an absolutely terrible start. He is Australian and there is nothing I hate more in this world than Australian men. <laughs> Australian men just shouldn't be allowed to talk unless you are Bang Chan or Lee Felix. Just keep, just don't, just, just don't, don't speak. Don't speak. Don't, just don't talk. Now, Australia is one of my larger demographics of audience, but you get it. You agree with me. Comment below if you also think that Australian men shouldn't speak. I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. Anyway, um, I'm, I apologize in advance for the probable amount of Australian slander that is going to come out of my mouth. I can't help it. I am a Kiwi. It is in my blood to hate Australians. So we're off to a great start. <laughs> that if you want to get something moving with a girl, that it has to happen fast. People forget strangers' faces very quickly within 72 hours, according to something that somebody told me once. That's my favorite source. According to a thing that someone told me one time a while ago, it's correct. If you're a cute girl who's meeting a lot of people, you're social. Even if you're a bit shy, but you go out to the, this night here and this club here and this event here and this party here, you're meeting lots of dudes and every man is like, okay, there's a girl, she's more or less attractive, I wanna have sex with her. And they're trying and they're trying. My guy, you just explained a real problem. And <laughs> you're saying it like it's a good thing. You're encouraging this, you're teaching men to do this. Do you understand how difficult it is and how frustrating and awful and upsetting it is to just exist and have people approach you and try to have sex with you? It's like not a good time for anyone. So many poor fucking women go through it every time they go out. Like, fucking leave us alone, man. Leave us alone. You're like, women have hundreds of men approaching them and trying to have sex with them. They're so lucky. No, no, we're not. No, fuck off. <laughs> Leave us alone. I don't know how many times we have to say it, man. Oh my God. You need to move on this shit fast. So when I'm teaching guys in workshops. I'm sorry, it's so funny that he's just like walking down the street and I'm imagining a cameraman like just filming and walking backwards and he's just walking and talking like while walking really slowly and it's really funny. If I saw this, I would be a bit startled. Um, if I heard what he was saying, I would be a bit, why, what are you doing? Why are you just walking down the street? What's going on? One of the cool things about the workshop is we have a tight time frame. We got seven days, 10 days. And I always tell everyone on the first day, if you come into this workshop with the attitude that you're gonna spend a few days figuring out how to open and a day or two, you know, figuring out how to do good number closes and then, you know, maybe you'll ask a girl on a date. Yeah, you'll go for the seven days and you won't get a date. If you go in with the attitude though on day one, that even though I don't know exactly what I'm doing because I haven't been trained properly yet. Even if you don't know how to pick up girls because you haven't been trained yet, you should try, trained, trained to pick up. 
It's so fucking weird. It's so bizarre. And so, it makes me so uncomfortable that, like, men pay, like, thousands of dollars to learn how to make girls want to have sex with them. They, they want to make women desire them and sleep with them. Like, that's the goal, is to go out and get sex as quickly as possible. And so, that leaves them to, like, lie and, like, manipulate And then obviously because they paid so much money, they're going to feel entitled to an answer and they're going to be persistent. They have videos on their channel called uh, How to Turn Women's Rejection into a Yes. That's a video I did recently, but they took the video down. I filmed the whole video, but I forgot to screen record. I forgot to save the video. And then I went to edit and they had removed the video. Um, But the whole video was 20 minutes of them sort of teaching how to like, persist and continuously like wear women down until they said yes and like that's encouraged all part of the training you know really essential great cool i'm glad that we're doing this i'm glad that men spend hundreds of dollars to learn to manipulate women it's really cool it's really cool it's really cool if a girl meets a guy and she feels any spark of attraction to him she wants that to increase quickly and if it doesn't it will dissipate within a matter of days, right? It's like the, the romantic arc that a woman goes through, the, the way that she has her feelings activated by a man, happens quickly and then it escalates and it needs to come to a powerful resolution, which is essentially sex, unless she's super religious or something like that. Mmm, mmm. Women feel attraction and want sex immediately. That's the way our emotions work. If we feel attracted to you, then you have like three days to sleep with us. Otherwise we're gonna forget you. And the only reason women won't have sex with you is if they're super religious. If I reject you and say I don't wanna fuck you, it's because I, I'm super religious. Not, not, not because I don't want to. I'm just, I morally object to it, obviously. Uh, that's the only reason women don't have casual sex. Uh, because of religious reasons, obviously. If you're telling people that the only reason women don't sleep with them is because they're super religious, that's also gonna lead to some problems if they ask, like, oh, are you religious? And they say no. There might be some conflict because, you know, the men who pay for these courses are usually not the best men. Usually they're misogynistic assholes. So... Yeah, I don't really trust their reactions to be very good, especially since they're literally only talking to me because they want to have sex with me within seven days. The reason it's important to understand this is because men don't operate like this. If you met a really hot girl today and then you couldn't see her for some reason and then six months later you bumped into her and she said, do you want to have sex? You'd be like, yep. Would you maybe want to have sex with me? Right now? Yes. Of right, course, right let's go. So you'd be like, yep. As long as she's still more or less the same size and still as hot. I'm sorry. That one threw me off. I'm not gonna lie, that one threw me off. He seems like the type of guy that would be, you know, fat phobic, body shamey, an asshole, you know? Um, But for some reason I wasn't expecting it. Men always want sex. They'll always want sex and they'll say yes every time. But only if you fit this really specific beauty standard. Otherwise, you're not really, you're not attractive, you're not worth it, you know? Um, And listen, as great as it is that we don't objectify everyone, that also leads to some issues around men feeling entitled to have, like, fat women sleep with them because they're like, I'm doing you a favor, no one else will. Which isn't true, like, at all. There's this weird view of, like, fat people in society that's so fucked up because, like, no no one actually cares, but everyone thinks that they're meant to, you know? Uh, the people that care are, like, manipulative assholes, um, and then a lot of them don't actually care, but then pretend that they do and use the way society treats and views fat women as a way to demean and manipulate them, and that's really fucked up. And also this idea is really strongly holding the idea that men 
always want sex. And there is a problem with that because it goes two ways in which it allows women to manipulate men um, by saying like, oh, well, you have to want me. Oh, am I not attractive enough? Oh, don't you love me or whatever. When it comes to being in a relationship, a lot of men feel pressured into having sex all the time, even when they don't want to, because they're easily manipulated in that way and made to feel less masculine. Um, and that's a real problem. And also going into this with the mentality of like, you have to sleep with women fast, you have to do it now or never, is teaching men to like lie and manipulate women in order to have sex with them like then and there. Not just like lie in order to get sex at all, which is effectively what this whole thing is about, which is not cool. We shouldn't lie and manipulate people, that's taking away consent. It doesn't matter <laughs> to you how long has been in between, how many other women have come and gone, what kind of stress level you have, you know, what your mood's like, you'll just be like, yep, sex, okay, let's do that now. Women don't operate like that. It's like, she feels something, she met a guy, there was a spark, right? Why do women decide to have sex with men? Because it feels right. My mouth's just straight up generalizing male and female attraction as though they're two very distinct and different things. That's not true at all. We all experience sexual attraction, romantic attraction differently. Sometimes women are keen to have sex like then and there and men aren't and vice versa. Like sometimes men forget women, sometimes women don't forget men. Like it's different for every person. You can't speak on your own experiences as though it applies to everyone. It's not true, it's ridiculous and you sound stupid and teaching men that this is how it works is so dangerous and you're just fucking making money off of objectifying women. Oh my God, I hate, I hate these people. I hate Australians. Sorry, this isn't Australian's fault, but he's Australian and I hate him. So mm. one woman can have chemistry with fucking literally millions of men on the planet. I do feel really called out by the way he's talking though. Like the amount of casual swearing he's doing, the very Australian casual swearing. Sometimes I watch back my videos and I realize how much I fucking swear and I don't do it on purpose. I'm just from New Zealand. Listen, I watch other people's videos and you know, people swear, um, but they don't, they don't really swear as much. I can't listen. <laughs> it's just Kiwi culture. Every freaking five words. I, I'm sorry. I hate that Australians and us are the same, except they're racist and misogynistic. So are New Zealanders, but Australians are. Just look up Australian history. Honestly, people don't talk about Australian history enough, but it's absolutely disgusting. Their history is, v oh my God. Just, just look it up. Just look at some Australian history. Um, saying. <laughs> there, is, there is literally millions of men on the planet that if they met her and did the right thing, she'd hook up with them. Why are we just assuming that all women are like down for casual sex? Like so many women aren't down for casual sex. I'm like, there are asexual women, there are lesbians. Uh, there are a lot of women who aren't gonna sleep with you and it's not just for religious reasons. Like, why are you assuming that everyone's down to fuck men? They're not, we're not, I'm not interested. <laughs> You know, and I'm sure like every single person watching this video, just about, also not interested in you. Maybe some men. I'm interested in casual sex with some men, not you. Not anyone who's gonna approach me while I'm like living my life on the street. And especially not men who like hang out on university campuses to pick up young women when they're like 40. So yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. And I'm not religious either, like at all. But I don't want, I don't. Also, you're Australian. That loses like a thousand points. I'm not hooking up with an Australian. <laughs> For Australians, I make two exceptions. Anyway. And so when a girl says, oh, we didn't, I uh, just didn't click, we didn't have chemistry. It's not really so much about the fact that her and that guy were totally incompatible. It's that that guy didn't understand seduction. It's that that guy didn't, maybe didn't have enough experience in this case, uh, but just simply did not activate her through his awareness, through his projection of intent, through his eliciting of her emotional responses, through pumping pressure. What does pumping pressure mean? I don't like the way that that sounds and I don't think we're gonna get an explanation and I don't I don't mm. 
Also, sorry, sorry. I'm just remembering earlier on, he said you had to have sex within a week, but you have to meet up with them like three times. What, how, in what world do I have the time to meet up with a random man three times in one week? In what world? I can't even meet up with someone like once a month. I think a lot of people can't meet up with people three times a week, can they? I mean, I used to. I guess I used to, but I was unemployed at the time. I didn't have a job. When I first moved here and I didn't have a job and I wasn't at uni, I went out on like four dates a week. But now that I'm like working, I couldn't do that. And I think a lot of people couldn't, especially if it's someone you literally met like that day. I'm not seeing you three times a week and then sleeping with you. That's just not gonna, that's just not practical. There are so many men trying to fuck all the, the, the pretty young girls. <laughs> the way he used young in there too. Uh, uh, there are so many men trying to fuck pretty young girl. Uh, sir, gross. I know. Oh, I hate that these men of like all ages target women in their like late teens and like early to mid twenties. It's gross. It's so gross. It makes me feel so icky. It's so icky. They also have a video about like, does age matter? And they're like, no, young women still want to fuck me as an older guy. No, no, no. The power dynamic is fucked, man. Just because people want to have sex with you doesn't mean you should have sex with them. Really that simple, it's really that simple. I was thinking about like age gaps recently. And like when I was 19, I slept with a 27 year old and I was thinking about this the other day and I was like, that's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. That's a bit of an age gap. That is, it's a bit strange. It is a bit strange. Like the fact that a 27 year old was like down to fuck a 19 year old. No, I don't like that. But as a 19 year old, I didn't think much about it. I don't like it. If you're 27 and willing to sleep with like a teenager, no, no. Especially if you're this guy's age. I don't know how old he is. He looks like he's in his 40s. He'd be like, oh, this girl's special. No, she's not. She's, I mean, she's a chef. She's special in the sense that all human life is, is a fucking miracle. We're all so special. Isn't it amazing that we're alive? That's special. But in terms of her being like a snowflake, you don't fucking know that, dude. You met her for 10 minutes. She's just another chick. She's as special as a 22 year old who's studying HR can be. going on <laughs> what is what that just kept getting worse he just kept talking it was bad and then it just kept getting worse she's not special she, i mean she's a person and human life is special but she's just another fucking chick she's just she's just a 22 year old woman because that's what we're aiming for people in their early 20s you know uni students that's why we hang out at uni campuses um, they're not special. They're dumb, like, pretty much fucking children. They're not special. They're just there for you to have sex with. You've only talked to them for, like, ten minutes. Doesn't matter. Your only goal is to hook up with them. <laughs> I hate men. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a bad day with things happening about men. I, listen, my... My view of men today particularly is just, like, so low. Some shit has happened. And I'm just like, not, I'm not, I'm not down for it. You know, I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough. And if you romantically create this big story about how she's the one, that is simply because you don't have enough options. You just haven't met enough women. And as a result, you will overinvest. You will try too hard. You will try to impress her. She will absolutely sense that. And the only woman that's going to respond to that is a woman who is also needy, who is also living in scarcity. And if you guys hook up, this would actually be the worst case scenario. Because if a woman is willing to put up with that bad level of, of game, then it suggests that she is going to be codependent and needy and you guys are going to ruin each other for a couple of years before it all falls to shit. And then you come out on the other end and go, uh, back to the natural lifestyles. If you want a relationship and she wants a relationship, that's gonna end badly because you both want a relationship. Re fuck relationships. There's way too many women out there. Like, sure, fine. If you want to live your life like that, that's fine. But don't tell men they aren't allowed to want relationships because women are effectively just unspecial, all the same objects to fuck, you know? Maybe all your relationships have failed because you're a fucking asshole, but like, what? Don't. 
and to make you understand that there are some brutal realities in life and one of them is that women who are cute and young have infinite options and that if you fuck around you'll just drop so everyone out there hit the streets today ask that girl to come with her on an adventure now not right now tonight if not tomorrow and then after that, accept that your rates of return or the, the uh, likelihood you'll see her again is going to massively drop off and go and meet another girl. That was an emotional journey. And I have so much anger and upset in my body. I hate that this is his job. He charges people. He makes money off of this. Women are not people. We're not special. We exist as a game. And that's fun. I love that men view us like that. It doesn't scare me or make me uncomfortable at all. <laughs> no, not at all. This shit's so problematic. It upsets me so much that it exists. I like, just leave us alone. I say it all the time. I've made videos like this before. Just leave us alone. Like, please, please, please. Um, if you want to see me make another video about other videos on his channel, let me know. They do like street pickup videos and show some of his like classes and stuff. I'd be keen to watch some of those and talk about them if you wanna see that. Let me know in the comments. Speaking of comments, please drop a comment. Drop a comment. Leave a comment, drop a like, um, subscribe. The algorithm is still being mean to me. Um, so I would really appreciate it if you engaged with the video. Uh, if you went and watched my last video, I was really proud of my last video. I really liked it. It was a bit of a change. Um, I really enjoyed it but it has not performed very well. So I would really appreciate if you wanted to go and check it out and watch it and give me your thoughts because I really would like to make more videos like that. Uh, but it is always slightly, you know, discouraging when videos you're proud of don't perform well. But power through. I'm gonna try post again in a few days, but I am struggling a bit with my mental health at the moment. So no promises. I will try my best to keep on top of it, but yeah, I have to take care of myself and I hope that you are also taking care of yourselves. Please remember to eat and drink water, stay hydrated, um, brush your teeth, try to get out of bed in the morning, go for a walk at least every few days if you can, um, and just take care of yourself. A massive thank you to my Kiwi Fruit and Kiwi Bear channel members whose names are up on the screen right now. I love and appreciate you very much. Thank you so much for joining. If you would like to become a channel member, you can click the top link in the description or the little blue join button. You know my videos today, LA, as well as 10% on my shop when I have things on my shop, which I will one day, I promise. Follow me on Instagram, the Queer Kiwi, and Twitter, that Queer Kiwi. Subscribe to my second channel. I just did a K-pop Q&A because why not? Uh, so if you want to know the type of music I listen to and the people I stand, etc., you can go watch that video. I have some more random videos planned, um, including a clothing haul. If you want to know where I get all my clothes and my earrings and things, that will be coming soon. It's all like small businesses or sustainable, ethical uh, type clothes. Um, so if you want to check that out, that is coming soon. Anyway, that's enough of the self promo. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe. Keep fighting. I love you. Mwah. <laughs>